The system can detect many things of interest to railway authorities. Uh, obviously there is the position of trains that are moving along the track which are very easily detected but more importantly there are a lot of secondary things that can be detected such as disturbance of cable by thieves uh, which may be present in the same ducts or in adjacent ducts um, also movements around level crossings are uh, of particular interest for safety applications in some areas where the landscape is unstable, uh, there is a significant danger of rocks falling onto the track and causing damage or, in fact, uh, accidents uh, in the railway. And these can, impacts of rocks falling down into the vicinity of the track can be easily detected by the system and used to warn trains and uh, prevent accidents from occurring. On the operational side, uh, it's well known that railway rolling stock can have flat areas on wheels which can cause damage to the track infrastructure and these uh, sorts of uh, flats can be again detected by the impacts that they produce as the train travels along the route. We're currently watching a train moving from Darlington to North Allerton. The uh, slope of the line that you see in the lower part of the screen indicates the speed of the train. Just to the right hand side of the screen another train moving from North Allerton back to Darlington has appeared and the two trains are now approaching each other on the line. As they cross you will see that there's no interference between the signals on the two trains and that the two trains are continuing in their respective directions and uh, the train moving towards North Allerton is now slowing as it approaches the station. In this clip we're seeing two trains passing one another as they move uh, toward and away from Darlington Station but this clip shows them much more close to Darlington and the uh, train moving from Darlington is accelerating as you can see by the curve in the time history while the train moving towards Darlington is slowing down. At the start of this clip we can see two trains travelling uh, in the same direction towards Darlington uh, separated by a period of some minutes. Uh, one train uh, has di already disappeared from the screen and another one is approaching Darlington Station and coming to a full stop. As it does so, a train moving in the opposite direction, travelling towards North Allerton, appears and goes through the station at speed and continues on towards North Allerton. Uh, while another smaller train travelling from North Allerton appears on the screen and travels towards Darlington. The two trains are approaching one another at this point and you can see them crossing over. The train moving from Darlington is obviously a much larger and heavier train as it's generating a larger trace while the train from North Allerton is a smaller train. This clip is quite complex as it shows a number of different events going on simultaneously. Um, the left hand side of the screen shows a slow moving uh, maintenance vehicles going backwards and forwards along the track. Near the end of the clip there is a section showing rail replacement activity occurring and then there finally is a slow moving vehicle which joins up with the main active vehicle at the very end. All of this is very similar to what would be observed in the case of copper cable theft where there would be individuals moving by the track disturbing equipment and creating vibrations due and movements of cables and also uh, vehicles moving near to the track and being used to collect and uh, distribute the people and the uh, material that's being removed.